Alright, there we go. Alright, so yeah, this is a little bit, oh sorry, clicked off the screen, there we go. Um, so hello everybody. Um, <clears throat> I'm just doing maybe, you know, just a quick little video on my stream. <clears throat> sorry, for this. Um, it's an idea that I've had and I'd probably wait until after 2K17, but I had an idea in my head originally for 2K18, which would be like a whole league full of custom teams and all that. I might still do that with like a fantasy draft and everything. Um, my other idea that I'm a pretty big fan of is doing something like this. Sorry, keep clicking off of my, uh, off of the screen here. And it's something like this, and it would be a, a completely different association mode. And the way it would work, um, by the way, if you can't tell, this is obviously a bunch of uh, modifications. A bunch of mods that I've put on, uh, like obviously this NBC Sports mod and everything. And also, the cool thing is, is loaded into this, which I'll load up here, is a thing called Ultimate Base Roster. So what you see here is you see all these ultimate base roster stuff. And I think at the time you see like July 15th, which was like 2015. Um, some a thing to use for association mode. Post-draft. Um, an ultimate legends roster. This base roster has something like 260 teams in it. With just all sorts of, uh, you know, teams. Just, just all sorts of... Um, like legendary old school teams fantasy draft ABA ball ultimate 90s 80s blah 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 what if and as you can see the biggest thing to me that I thought was kinda cool was the insane amount of rosters as you can see 52 60 and you know they got from like 60 all the way to a roster of it should be 2015 yeah a 2015 roster which was kind of a, a tenured type roster because I think this came out in what 2013 and I think the last updates for this came out in like July of 2015 so it's been almost two years obviously they haven't really done more to it but this combined with the NBC sports deal that I have in here uh, seemed really cool to me because I can add in uh, the plan that I, the thought that I had was, was the 1997 roster version 4, and then, you know, I can upload the 90s slider settings, and my thought is doing a bit of an association mode, and the cool thing is, now that we come back here, got like a lot of old school teams, and now you've got just all this old school stuff sitting in here with uh, a lot of the players from that year so now when you go to whoops you go to like the rosters and such you get to see there's uh, Allen Iverson in his rookie season because this when it says 97 it's the 96 97 season so this is like this was Allen Iverson's rookie season and this was um, this was Kobe Bryant's rookie season as well so this was the year that Shaq had just left Orlando to go to uh, Los Angeles, and of course, you know a bunch of other a bunch of other guys here uh, that you you get to see, and of course, a lot of these guys also still in were in the game. Some of them, uh, depending on what year or whatnot, um, but these are like you know a lot of these old school guys that you know people maybe kind of forgot about. And so, you know, you have a whole roster with these guys. And so I thought it was pretty amazing to do something like that. You know, they got like a bunch of little um, other guys too uh, as uh, free agents. And it's pretty cool. And I thought it would be, it'd be pretty nice because the thing about that is, is that also what comes with Ultimate Base Roster is a set of draft classes that go from like I don't even remember when the draft classes start but it goes up to like 2015 and so 
like if I started up with 1997, played the 96-97 draft, or 96-97 season, I could load up the 97 draft, and you could see how far up this goes. So you have like a rookie Tim Duncan, Tracy McGrady, and guys like that, that would come in as, they would come in as rookies, and then you can kind of play and see what what they're you know capable of and kind of going through um you know going through certain things like this and just seeing you know maybe where they land and what happens to them and if they end up being as big as they really you know end up being so it seemed like a really cool thing to do you got like a rookie vince carter obviously and jason williams and just a lot of really cool guys and I thought this was a really, really neat thing. And, you know, you have an association mode that you can do that with. And on top of all that, when you kind of go through this, let me take, let me see. I'm trying to think about guys that, you know, teams that no, don't normally get represented in 2K that maybe had some cool guys, like the Pacers with uh, Reggie Miller. I don't think Reggie Miller's ever been in NBA 2K. I don't really remember that. Um, yeah, Supersonics were Timberwolves, Trailblazers, Warriors with uh, Latrell Sprewell. That might be pretty cool. I, I at least wanted to play through a game so you'd at least see how everything how everything worked. Yeah, yeah, Latrell Sprewell, Chris Mullen. This would be kind of fun to see. And of course, with the NBC mod, you get like kind of a full broadcast type deal here. So I'll actually pause this because that's, of course, what I've been doing with 2K17, where I just pause all the in-game music and then just let it, and then, you know, pause it once I get into a game. So I'll at least play this and see this. Generally... Generally, it will. It's it's kind of a crapshoot if the music plays or not. But they do have the NBA on NBC music. Yeah, see, it doesn't even play. But it's kind of the whole old school thing. They have all the old school courts and the Dornas and everything up on there. And so it seems like it'd be pretty neat to have something like this where where you're dealing with guys who you know you're dealing with uh with something like this where you can have accurate draft classes for legit like 17 18 draft classes worth of just people who are in the NBA now and then, of course, if you it, like with this playing through the ninety six ninety seven season, this is like Kobe's, you know, rookie year and all that. You kind of get to see like if they end up being as good as they are, and if people who are actually in the NBA now, if they end up being as good as they are, or if maybe they don't end up being a bust. There we go. And it also works for me because, hell, NBA 2K14 is one of those games that I still kind of remember like the back of my own hand. Oh, God. Oh, look at that. There we go. I had to say I'm not as familiar with the old school Pacers. I can't remember what the, you know, when Jalen Rose showed up. Oh. Oh. 
Oh well. Oh, not the greatest idea in the world. I probably should have turned it down to about nine minutes or so. Might just play like the first half or so of this game. Just to get a good idea of everything. Oh, yeah, just go in. There you go. <laughs> What a dive. I feel like it would be too obvious to do, like, Bulls versus Jazz or Bulls versus Magic. You know, teams that, teams that were kind of already in NBA 2K. So I figured I'd at least show the ones that maybe aren't in. Come on, Smits. Come on, Smits. Ah. Oh. I was waiting for a uh, for a foul there. I think 96-97 in NBA 2K was the Bulls and the Jazz. There you go. Ugh. Here we go. Yeah, I could have swore. Oh, Jalen Rose is in it. Okay, he was just a sixth man. It's also it's also really something to get used to the fact that there's no there's no like meter or anything to look at. It's all just hardcore. <laughs> Remember what their release was. Ah. Oh my god, Reggie. Oh! There we go. It's been a little while since I've really gotten into this game. But yeah, I've got a lot of I got a lot of feelings about wanting to do certain things in the game. <laughs> I'd love to I'd love to take guys who are like big flops in the draft and try to like make something out of it. I think that'd be pretty cool. It'd be great to pick up Kwame Brown in the 2001 draft and make him the superstar they thought he was going to be. And another interesting thing is that if I do play it that year, then that'll be several years before, you know, LeBron, Durant, guys like that. So that'll really be... 
going through a lot of old school stuff before you really start getting to a lot of the a lot of the guys. I told him to shoot, but okay. Oh, I should have given it over to him for the... That's my fault. Oh. I don't know why he went to go help. It's all right. I got to make sure real quick because it just feels... Okay, ISO motion shots. I was just making sure. Oh my god. I do say the one downside that I've that I noticed and it seems like the guys who made the um yeah the guys who made the uh this mod sort of understood was going to be an issue is that back in 96 97 you had um oh man oh man we're just losing the ball constantly <clears throat> this ain't good. But uh, one of the big issues would be, of course, the, the fact that there was 29 teams in the league coming into uh, that year, as opposed to now when there's 30, uh, with, of course, the fact when the Hornets moved to... Um, the Hornets moved to New Orleans, and then Charlotte kept a team with the Bobcats. So the Charlotte Bobcats are in here. God, I, I suck. I really super suck. <laughs> but they did seem to kind of work that out by having Charlotte be nothing but like 25 rated overall guys who are just garbage at everything. And then they have like these four-year contracts. Um where they get paid like 50 million bucks a year, so they can't really be traded. So I think like for the first four years, they're, I mean, the Bobcats exist, but they're not really going to do anything. They're almost like a free, like a free win each. Oh my God. I need Smith back in. And so it's Indiana with it. Here we got Rose. Rose. There we go. I knew Jalen Rose could get something. So, yeah, they seem to have factored in the fact that you'd have a team like the Bobcats. That would have to be in there. They will. They'll just be a non-factor throughout, like the first four seasons or so, when all those contracts are on there. So then, whoever gets drafted by there will probably just take a starting spot and be whatever. Hey, go, Jalen Rose, turn it on. Oh. 
So at least those rookies will get some development time. The poor ones that have got to end up being drafted to the Bobcats. Which will also probably mess with the way the draft works. Considering guys in the in the late nineties didn't get drafted to the Bobcats, <laughs> but still, you know, a good way around the limitations of the game, and still allow you to continue to do a uh, multi-year franchise. Up, oh, up. Oh, oh. I got it, I got it, I got it. Just force that in. Whoops. There we go. Really force it in there. <laughs> Alright, it's not too bad right now. I would like to see kind of how the halftime stuff looks because I kind of forget but like I think you do kind of get a uh, a sense of how this works and of course I showed you all the draft classes I mean they have up to 2017 but I'd guarantee there's probably some names on that list that will just be off I'd love to see what the 2017 draft class looks like, honestly. Oh, Jalen. Oh, I just let it go. I was just going to let it go out because I assumed it wasn't going to... Well, crap. Oh, yeah, then you can see the Gatorade bottle and stuff, as well as there's, like, PlayStation icons. Like, there's some modifications to that, too, that was kind of added into this whole thing. I'm personally not the biggest fan of the PlayStation buttons. Even though I do have a PlayStation as opposed to an Xbox, I am kind of playing this on an Xbox controller. But, I mean, I can decipher it well enough anyway. Might as well do a quarter after this of, like, the Michael Jordan Bulls and all them. Actually, no, they were already in. Maybe something like, uh... Maybe something like uh, the Magic, or no, the La how about that? How about the Lakers and uh, the 76ers? Because the only 76ers team is the one that made the uh, that made the uh, finals. Also, um, I guess also the idea behind that would be the fact that as compared to as compared to um, like say NBA 2K17, you're dealing with um, ah screw it ah. Oh. You're dealing with um, a gameplay that doesn't have, like, a SimCast on it. You know, SimCast wasn't a thing in 2K14. So it's either simulate a game fully. They have that hoop cast, but it's not really, like, what SimCast is. So there would be probably simulating through chunks of game. And I think the best bet would probably be... Um, just play key games. There you go, Fred Hoiberg. Perfect way to end it with the mayor. Iowa State alumni. Iowa State head coach. Current Chicago Bulls coach. So I think the the basketball, the fiery basketball thing is also a, a different thing. So that gives you so that gives you a bit of a look on that. And then I can do maybe like a quick quarter on uh let's see here, not roster. Um 
Alright, what am I trying to do? Let me try to get my head around this. There we go. All-Star Superstar Hall of Fame. Yeah. All-Star's fine. And then, what did I say? We can do Lakers. And... Was it 76ers that had the... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, even though they were crap. <laughs> the 76ers with uh, rookie Allen Iverson and Stackhouse. And, uh, okay, some guys. Still didn't play the music. It's like, it's like maybe a quarter of the time. It's odd. I think it actually mostly works in uh, association mode. Oh, there we go. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Holland alongside Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr with Doris Burke on our sideline. A quick check down for starting lineups for both teams. First for the 76ers. Allen Iverson up there with Jerry Stackhouse. We've got Williams. They'll be watching him boxing out maneuvering for the easy baskets inside. They'll be counting certainly on his production. And it's Coleman in at the fourth. Yeah, what a what a year for the Lakers to for the Lakers getting getting Shaquille O'Neal and then they draft Kobe Bryant. I mean, he was like what thirteenth, so I guess there wasn't a huge expectation, but just worked out amazingly well for them. I want to see how many times he just takes his own shot. God. This game is so realistic already. It's amazing. Oh, God. Oh, Big ass Shaq taking a tumble. Oh. Okay. Eddie Jones, Nick Van Exel. I let Van Exel continue to guard him. That seemed to work out well. I love the realism already. It's like, what's that? Allen Iverson's. Allen Iverson's just holding on to the ball. This is fantastic. Perfect. Hope he continues to do this. Oh. <laughs> that was quite the goaltending. <laughs> Yeah, there was a there was a different scoreboard that this came with that was in the style of NBA on NBC, but it wasn't quite. It was like this is really cool, but I still actually had some of my old mods, I guess, from before I upgraded. I guess I still had it on my on my hard drive somewhere in a folder of all my 2K14 mods. And it's a shitload of scoreboards. I got like a like TNT ones and ESPN ones and CBS and just all sorts of stuff like that. 
but uh, obviously best if I'm if I'm going to be doing this obviously you'd want the NBA on NBC and this one was definitely much like the actual the actual one that they had I feel like there's going to be an obvious team I should have shown besides I mean the Bulls and the Jazz are already in the game so it's not like a huge thing there and I guess it's not even a huge thing considering Shaq is technically in the game too Shaq being Shaq probably should have done like the Pistons or something with like Grant Hill or the Washington Bullets, since they were still the Bullets at this point. They weren't quite the Wizards yet. Yeah, the presentation looks amazing, too. God bless the, the modders who make this crap happen. I'm still always in awe of seeing that. Oh, I tried. I tried to get it to camp. <laughs> tried to get somebody else something. <laughs> Anything? Anything? Nope. Let's see. Let's do an isolation play for Eddie Jones. See what we got. Oh. Cool. Oh, we got Robert Orion. There you go. There you go. And we haven't even seen Bryant come out yet. That young rookie. Now, it seems really weird that they seem to have 30-year-old Kobe Bryant portrait. And that might just be an issue with the fact that this is a 90... The, I'm using a 90s roster, but there can only be so many portraits. That might be the issue. But yeah, I'm waiting on uh Davis is up. Ori gets the shot. Ooh. There we go. Just destroying them. Kobe. Let's bring Kobe in. Kobe. Let's bring in uh Derek Fisher. I think Fisher was either a rookie or a second year guy at this point. I guess we can bring in Knight and give uh, Shaq a little bit of a reprieve. Those stats make it look like Fisher was probably a rookie. I think he was actually drafted the same year as Kobe. Which is weird because I always saw Derek Fisher as somebody who was older than that. They mm -hmm. still can't get it going. Oh, it's not Afro Kobe. I'm already. Oh, shit. I'm already a little disappointed because it is. Obviously, like, the, bit, the work was done on 2015 Kobe, which is cool and all. But if I'm running a 1990. 697 season. You'd be hard pressed to have me not, you know, want Afro Kobe. I demand my Afro Kobe. Shot clock at five. He kicks it to Davis. 
Of course, I do understand with game limitations and everything. What the fuck kind of pass was that? On the bright side, I'm glad I'm still at, you know, playing at a high enough level. I mean, it is the 76ers, but I'm still playing at a high enough level on All-Star to be quite good. Nope. Let's see if I can do the Kobe thing. There you go. And one. This young kid's got potential. He can go far in the NBA. Oh, yeah, they tend to have a lot of the coaches, the... Uh, a lot of the a lot of the coaches as the um, you know what they were. There you go. I'm just gonna guard the paint like I do in 2K17. I'll let my guys worry about the outside. I'll take the inside. <laughs> Almost got another goaltending trying to do that. There you go. There we go. Let's give this young rookie a chance. Another chance. Ah, there you go. There we go. But yeah, if I remember right, 1997-6 was one of the best drafts for in terms of talent between Iverson and Kobe. And, yeah, just a whole bunch of notable names. And then you have something like the 2000 NBA draft, whose most noteworthy player was Kenyon Martin. Oh! Ouch. Got something. There we go. Oh, shit. I don't like this. There we go. Kobe. Hey. 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 <laughs> Even as a rookie, he's just shredding the 76ers. Which is about as impressive as shredding the Vancouver Grizzlies at this point. Well, 
Well, that was an interesting first quarter. <laughs> Damn. What is this newfangled music playing? <laughs> so there you go. I just want to jack one up. Ah. That's basically a heat check right there. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, just wanted to kind of show that off and uh, my my plans and ideas for that. If I was going to do that, um, you know, when 2K17 is up and 2K18 comes out, that's probably what I'm going to do is instead of doing kind of what I had been, uh, I might just go back here to 2K14 with the ultimate base roster and just have all these old school teams and uh, old school like draft classes and such. And yeah, I'm I'm kind of excited about uh, possibly doing something like that. I kind of want to see what they have for, set up for 2017 and see how correct it might be. <laughs> okay, we got Thon Maker. Now, if you remember, this is about two years in advance from. This is about two years in advance, because I think it was July of 2015. Josh Jackson, Harry Giles, Jason Tatum, Malik Newman. Like Malik, BJ King. Yeah, a lot of guys. It's, I think Malachi Richardson's actually going to be there. De Wait, D'Angelo Russell's actually in the... <laughs> he left a little bit sooner than, than he actually... Why does it say he's 17? I don't think he's... DeMontis. I think he actually went this year, didn't he? This last year in 16. Hmm. Trying to see here. Yeah. Yeah, now we're just kind of going down to people that it's just like, eh. <laughs> no Lonzo Ball. <laughs> I noticed that. There is no Lonzo Ball. Ben Simmons, Jalen Brown. Yeah, say they did a pretty good job at least. Looks like he actually went in in 2015, as well as him, maybe. Or maybe they just got the pictures from, like, NCAA stuff. Gotta say, there's a lot of guys from this season didn't quite... <laughs> And then I think this would be the most accurate as to people who actually got drafted. Towns of Mounier, D'Angelo. Okay, okay, there's two D'Angelo Russells. That's probably not a good... Maybe not use the 2017 draft then. <laughs> Zanya Porzingis. Actually, he's considered... It's actually kind of interesting to see. Because no one thought much of Porzingis, so... His potential's pretty high. I think the I think all of those stats would be a little bit different now, but Yeah, it's pretty cool. So I think we're accurate at least up to twenty fifteen. So there's at least that much. Kinda weird seeing Devin Booker kind of that far down too. See if there's anybody who wasn't like a huge deal at that time that maybe has broken out over the last couple of seasons. I'm trying to think here. And really see anybody all the way down here that has really like lit the world on fire. 
of course Booker, but he's like a he's still like a seventy one, so that's not I think Bryce Dijon Jones probably should be a little bit better than a fifty nine. Either way, that is uh, that is the ultimate base roster for NBA 2K14, and my idea of um, doing perhaps an association mode uh, with this, say with like the Magic, because I'm always big on the Magic, and I feel like that would be a team that, especially this was the season after like Shaq left, so you're left with Penny and then like a, a bunch of other like just dudes. Like, I think Nick Anderson and Dennis Scott were there. But, yeah, it's a whole lot of guys or it's just, like, a clear rebuilding year. And I think that was actually, that previous year was the last time that they had actually made it to the Eastern Conference Finals before Dwight Howard led them. Uh, Dwight Howard had led them there. And then, yeah, it had been, it'd been a while even after that that they had won their division. So, it'd, it'd be interesting to try to rebuild without Shaq. And, you know, just anything like that. And, of course, with with the, the, the realistic powers of, you know, just almost like a gray sports almanac with knowing, like, okay, you get, like, you get, like, six years in, and then you get to, say, like, the 2003 draft, and then you go, hmm... I wonder who might be pretty good. This LeBron James kid looks pretty good. This Carmelo Anthony, Dwayne Wade. So you get a lot of guys. It's like, hmm, I wonder who could who could uh, do pretty well for us. So, damn, 88 out of the gate is ridiculous. I wonder why it says from Sweden. Okay. So not everything is going to be the most... Um, yeah, not everything is going to be the most, um, what is it, the, the, um, uh, yeah, accurate. Sometimes there might be a hiccup here and there from some, some sort of, uh, some sort of place like that. Like where it says he's from Sweden. I guess because they didn't have a, they don't have a high school or anything on here, maybe for him. Uh, for that version of LeBron. But, yeah. So that is that. Um, I figured I'd at least show it off to you. Show show you guys kind of how that whole thing works. It'd be pretty cool. Um, I'd have to figure out the whole game thing. I think I would play, like, probably about 20 or so games throughout the season. And then just play the whole, the whole game. And that's probably how I'd do it instead of playing, like, 82 full games. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah. That was that. Uh, yeah, if you guys if you guys feel like that would be pretty cool to do once uh, 2K17 is kind of done and 2K18 comes out, instead of doing a 2K18 thing, I do this. Um, if you guys would be more interested in just like a complete custom like league, I might still end up maybe doing something along those lines anyway, even if it's not on stream. Just like custom jerseys and teams and all that, and just fantasy draft and. Just a completely different league. But, yeah. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I uh, hope you guys, you know, maybe would look forward to something like that. And I uh, hope to hear you guys' uh, feedback on it. So, thank you guys, and I'll see you next time.